Hello dear students let's start the next chapter of your book moment the last leaf it is autumn the wind is blowing hard and it is raining heavily all the leaves on an ivory creeper have fallen except one why doesn't the last leaf fell see the reference whatever is given it is about the last leaf the writer is talking about the autumn season was going on all trees have fallen down their leaves but the last leaf is left what is the reason behind it let's see the story let's read out and enjoy the story to know the answers of this question so and john c two young artists shared a small flat the flat was on the third story of an old house this is the story of sue and jancy and both of them were sharing the same house and the same flat they were hiring and this flat was used by both the two artists it was a small one The flat was on the third story of an old house. This flat was on the third story of the old house. John C fell see very seriously ill in November. She had pneumonia. She would lie in her bed without moving, just gazing out of the window. John C was suffering with a specific disease called pneumonia and she was not feeling like moving she did not have that energy she was merely gazing out from the window so her friend became very worried she sent for the doctor although he came every day there was no change in john c's condition now so she became very worried she called the doctor the doctor came as well he examined but there was no improvement in jancy's jancy's condition one day the doctor took sue aside and asked her is anything worrying jancy no replied sue but why do you ask one day the doctor was really shocked to see that no improvement was coming up on jancy's condition so he asked to sue by taking her aside that is there any problem which jancy was facing so she said no the doctor said john c it seems has made up her mind that she is not going to get well if she doesn't want to live medicines will not help her the doctor said it seems john c did not want to improve and if she had decided she was not going to uh, be uh, healthy then definitely no medicines are going to help her so tried her best to make john c take an interest in things around her she talked about clothes and fashions but john c did not respond now so wanted that john c should have some interest in her regular life generally girls have interest in clothes and fashions she talked about these two topics also with john c john c but no response she could face she could get Jonesy continued to lie still on her bed still Jonesy was on her bed only bedridden she was so brought her <coughs> drawing board into Jonesy's room and started painting to take Jonesy's mind off her illness she whistled while working now she wanted to take the attention of Jonesy and divert the attention of Jonesy from her disease that is why she brought one painting brush drawing board in her room and while she was painting she had started painting and while she was painting she was just whistling also just to make the environment healthy and energetic suddenly she heard john c whisper something she quickly rushed to the bed and heard john c counting backwards suddenly so th- heard that johnsy was whispering something even johnsy was backward busy in backward counting back counting 
She was looking out of the window and saying twelve. After some time, she whispered eleven, and then ten, then nine, eight, seven. She was like that, doing backward counting. She was looking outside the window and saying twelve, eleven, ten, nine, and at finally she came at seven. So anxiously, winning worriedly, looked out of the window. Now Sue could not understand. how she could help her friend she started looking out from the window she saw an old ivory creeper climbing half way up the brick wall opposite their window in the strong wind outside the keeper was creeper was shedding its leaves and when she saw outside the window she noticed there was a creeper and because heavy winds were blowing so the creepers leaves were descending down this thing so so noticed i hope you all have followed what i have completed today thank you dear ones